Picture this, you just spent your hard-earned money on a Luka Doncic autograph rookie card. Now imagine there was a deep, dark controversy around Luka's autograph and rumors spread that someone else was signing for him. You would freak out, right? Well, in January of 2019, a thread started on a sports card forum where people compared Luka's auto side by side. What did they find? Is it legit or total BS? Let's take a look at why I think the Luka autograph controversy is flat out absurd on the season finale of Mint Conditions. Now, let me go on the record and say I am in no way, shape, or form a handwriting expert by any means. I'm using my own opinions and logic to put to rest any doubters who think Luca has a ghost signer out there. If you glance through this forum, you'll see many claims of Luca's autograph looking one way on one card and different on another. Now the rumor, and there is zero evidence of this, is that Luca got tired of signing and had someone, potentially his mom, sign cards for him. I'm sorry, but this is just preposterous. To the naked eye, we can admit that some of his autographs are indeed different, but let's not forget, the guy is human. I don't know about you, but I know my signature isn't identical every time I sign my name. It can be circumstantial and definitely never exactly identical. Now imagine signing hundreds of cards in a given day or thousands in a week. What about hundreds of thousands throughout your pro career? If you didn't know, Luca has been playing pro ball since he was 16. Now imagine how many autographs he signed in the last six years. We've also seen a ton of evidence of athletes changing up their signatures as time goes on. Just compare Giannis's auto from his rookie season to what it looks like now. Big difference. Or what about Anthony Davis's rookie season to now? Or even Trey Young's distinct difference? Now, before he entered the league, Luca's auto seemed to read as Lulu. Then his signature seemed to change his rookie season as he was signing thousands of rookie cards. And nowadays, it seems to be a mix of both variations. But just because an autograph looks different does not automatically mean it's being signed by two different people. On one hand, if Luca gets a stack of 1,000 cards to sign one day and a stack of rare cards limited to 25 copies on another day, one can claim his signature is going to be inconsistent simply based on volume. Furthermore, just look at the variation of Luca's penmanship amongst cards that are undoubtedly his autograph. In my opinion, the man is just inconsistent with his autograph. Ready for this one? Here's a picture that was autographed by Luca and gifted to the president of Slovenia. It displays that same Lulu inscription that conspiracy theorists thought was written by his mom. Like, what are the chances Luca would let his mom forge an autograph to the president of their country? Here's another thing. Call me naive, but the powerhouse that is Panini, who's worth billions, would not allow one of the biggest names in the hobby to have a ghost signer especially not after inking an exclusive deal with Luca in 2021. Imagine the guy who bought the fourth most expensive card in the world for $4.6 million found out that Luca's mom had signed the card. It would create pandemonium in the card market and turn the hobby upside down. Also, what about the big name grading companies who have professionals authenticating Luca autographs? Do you really think they would risk the entire integrity of the company by grading cards that may be signed by a different person? I don't think so. Now, as for the rumors, well, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but based on what I know and what I've seen, I am not buying it. The fact that a superstar athlete who's getting paid handsomely by a card company might have a ghost signer? Nah, I'm out on that theory. And there it is. That's the season finale of Mint Conditions. <laughs>